Hello and welcome to Host FTP Tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to introduce you to Fusion. It stands for Folder Structure, Usernames, Sharing, and Notifications. Use this acronym to set up the foundation of your account utilizing our best practices to configure your remote site to your use case. Let's begin. Go to the Files tab to view your workspace. To create a restricted shared folder outcome, create a main folder for your entire infrastructure, and then create subfolders for each customer, client, or vendor to mimic your campaign. This is so you can share the main folder to give a user access to all folders and subfolders, or give a customer access to a subfolder to restrict that customer to that folder workspace. Note the folder name you want to give the user access to because we'll be using this information to specify their default FTP folder. Now, go to the Users tab to create your username. Click Add Username located on the right-hand menu and fill in the credentials for your user. In the Name field, we recommend adding Click on Files tab to transfer files in default folder. This message will appear upon login as instructions for the user. Underneath Options, if you select Manage User Settings, it will remove the Setup tab from their account, disabling their ability to change their own username and password. Allow the user full access for upload and download permissions or read-only access for only download capabilities. Then, add a storage quota of zero. This will disable the user from being able to upload into the root folder, restricting them to the folders shared with this user. Save, and at this time, you can link an email to this user, which will push an email notifying them that their account is now active. Note that if you don't link an email to a user, they cannot receive notifications. Scroll down to view the advanced user options. When you find default FTP folder, insert the name of the folder we wanted to give this user access to. This will automatically force the user into that folder upon login. Review the other advanced options and select the ones that suit your use case and save once complete. Next, head back to the Files tab to share the folder with this user. Select the folder you want to share and click the Share button located beside the right-hand menu. Click Add Contacts, Add Contacts again, and select the user you want to grant access to this folder. Using the drop-down menu located at the bottom of the screen, select the permissions for this user. We recommend giving read-write no-delete permission to enable upload and download capabilities but disable the ability to delete or overwrite any files. Permissions on this folder are inherited to any subfolders within the shared folder. Lastly, use the drop-down menu to select the notification option for this user. Typically, a customer wants to be notified when a file is uploaded. Click Continue once complete. To enable notifications for yourself as the admin or folder owner, check Notify Me When Contacts and use the drop-down menu to select your notification option. In this case, we want to know when a customer downloads a file. Save once complete and congratulations, you successfully used Fusion to set up your account to mimic your campaign or use case. Go to the Files tab and you'll notice a green arrow on the folder. This represents a folder that you own that has been shared with one or more users. As the admin or folder owner, you can log in as a user by going to the Users tab, selecting the user of your choice, and clicking Login beside the user's username. Use your admin password to log in by a proxy and view this user's account. You'll notice the welcome message we created for this user, and in the Files tab, the user automatically lands in the default FTP folder we specified with the proper permissions. Visit www.help.hostedftp.com for additional help, tutorials, articles, and support resources. Use our live chat to talk to a representative or email support at hostedftp.com for your business inquiries.